Hello everybody, Scott Golden here with the Golden Opportunities Coaching YouTube channel. Welcome to those of you who are new. Welcome to those of you who are consistently here on a good basis. We continue to bring you the best in audio formatting available and uh, coaching, uh, relationship business, all that good stuff. If you're looking for how to overcome toxic, uh, toxic parenting, this is an audio for you. Got over 1,200 of these available in the archive for your listening pleasure. If there's a topic you'd like to see covered, please subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff as well. Um, but if you are looking for coaching of getting out of toxic situations, would love to be of service to you in 2022 and beyond. So reach out at PO Perception on Twitter or in the About Me section of this YouTube page. Either one will lead you into a conversation with me or a member of my team. We can make something happen from there um, and would love to be able to do that for you. So what are some signs of toxic parenting? Number one is the parent saying that the young person, the child, is always wrong. So anytime somebody always or never, there's a toxic nature to their communication style. It doesn't necessarily mean they're a bad person, but that means their pre presupposition doesn't allow for the possibility of positive change on a consistent enough basis. And so therefore, they project that onto their children, onto their, uh, their life, onto the things that matter to them. And it becomes super problematic for a number of reasons. Number one is that that person eventually is going to feel like they'll never be enough, they can't be good enough, and the, the other thing there. The next is a level of disrespect. Disrespect of the emotions of the child, disrespect of the emotional development and growth of the child. So effort should matter more than success when raising children to be conscientious human beings who are able to respond to both positive and negative stimulus. But if a child is never given the ability to learn to respond to both positive and negative environments, that is, that their emotional receptivity is expected to be more mature than they're ready to be, or if they're um, seen as immature because they're having difficulty coping with something, that is a sign of toxic parenting. The next thing is the illusion of competition and the idea of being uh, the best at something. So the whole concept of best, the whole concept of the illusion of competition becomes problematic because when you compare and contrast children, when you try to get children to compare with their friends, their classmates, their siblings, it becomes, hey, there's always uh, something that you could be doing better, and therefore the effort of the child, the intention of the child, is never considered to be enough, and that becomes toxic because the child is constantly chasing approval and constantly chasing the feeling of enoughness. Did I prove myself? The next thing is the blame game. So obviously we want children to take per personal responsibility for the actions they take. However, m many times, especially a younger child or a child going through the changes that are brought with, um, you know, things like teenagerhood and all of that has, has a lot of problems in the sense of a nature thing. And what that means is ultimately um, when they are not supported they're gonna they're gonna feel like everything is their fault and the blame game ultimately takes away a children's ability to rebalance after making a mistake also they th if they begin to think everything is their fault they also begin to think that there is a lot of uh, challenge around the idea of becoming better at anything and therefore the self-value never improves and you kind of go in the same circle again and again and again the next is uh, no emotions or not giving oneself emotional uh, wherewithal or emotional plasticity. So uh, being punished for uh, expressing positive emotions in terms of being overly happy or overly goofy or being punished for showing negative emotions, a sign of toxic parenting. Parenting is all about encouraging expression. So anytime a child's expression is encouraged to be turned down, encouraged to be lessened, encouraged to be overly appropriate. Now, obviously, there are levels of decorum, levels of responsiveness and responsibility that most children do need to learn in order to be successful members of society. But, you know, teachable moments versus lecturable moments is also an important thing there. When we begin to understand the value of teachable moments, we also then are giving a child a better chance of becoming successful and being healthy, smart, and balanced in the way in which 
you're making decisions. So hopefully this is helpful, encouraging you to keep your feet on the ground, reminding the moment. Until next time, everybody.